Welcome to Reloaded's Workshop Tutorial Part 6A. Now in this video we'll talk about another of the features that's coming out with uh, version 1.1.006 and that's the ability to export your data. Now, as you can see on the screen here there's a lot of data in Reloaded's Workshop. You know there's calibers, you know bullets, cases, powders, uh, your load data, your firearms data, uh, you know manufacturers, just a lot of data and as you add your, your data and create batches and loads and whatnot it just gets more and more data. Now Reloader's Workshop has very robust disaster recovery capabilities built in. I mean, As long as you do your backups or you can even start to do auto backups uh, for you, things like that. As long as you do that and set, set it up to, to store your or back up your data, disaster recovery is not really a problem. Now the problem is that the data is in a binary format in, in a proprietary schema that you could probably figure out eventually but, but it would take some work. Okay, uh, So only Reloader's Workshop can really read that data, that data file. Now uh, some folks like to take uh, their data, massage it in some different ways, maybe in a uh, spreadsheet or uh, or you may, you may want to stop using Reloader's Workshop uh, but you want to be able to get all your data out of it before you uh, stop using it. Now while that would break my heart uh, I'm not going to hold your your data hostage okay. So I've added this export uh, capability. If we look up here in the uh, uh, file menu, the second item there is exports. When I select that, it'll bring up the export data files dialog. The top group here is the basically the file type, the path, and name of the file that you're going, you want to export. Now, there's two different types of files you can export at this point. There's common delimited text files or more commonly known as a CSV or, or comma separated values and an XML file. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at comma delimited text file. Over here, this is the name of the file that is going to be created. Now it, it will always default to RW data. So if you just come in here and you just hit the export button, it's going to go into RW data. So you can uh, you know, grab, always just grab that file and, and you'll have you'll know exactly where it's at. Or you can set the file path uh, to anywhere uh, on your network, on your, on your computer, your network, the cloud, wherever you have access to, uh, you can uh, save that, export that, that data to it. And you can give it whatever name you'd like down here. It's going to put a .csv uh, extension on it, but uh, other than that, you can set whatever name you want. Okay. Now, below that are the filters. Now, initially all the filters are checked, meaning that the, the exported file will contain all the manufacturers, calibers, firearms, ammunition, bullets, cases, everything in the database. So, all you have to do, set up your export file information, uh, set your filters, and then press the export button. Data exported successfully. Happens pretty quick. Now I just used all uh, the default values. So the data ended up in rwdata.csv. Um, it's comma delimited. It, it includes everything in the database. Uh, so there's quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, CSV files always look the same. Uh, at the top, uh, the very first thing you'll see is Reloaded Workshop Data File Export. It'll always start with that. Uh, then you'll see the data file that follows, in this case, manufacturers. Then you'll have a line that gives you the column headers for all of the uh, common delimited data to follow. Okay, And then you see here's all of our manufacturers. Once we get through the manufacturers, now we start with the calibers um, and the caliber uh, column headers. And there's all our cartridges for calibers. Okay, And firearms, ammunition, bullets, it goes on and on. So essentially, 
everything in the database is now in this rwdata.csv in a common delimited format. And here's our data loaded into an Excel spreadsheet. I just loaded the rwdata.csv file directly. And you can see that you can recognize the data here, the reloaded workshop data file, export, manufacturers. Here's our column headers, and then all of our manufacturers. Next comes the calibers and so on, just like the uh, CSV file. Now, one thing, of course, you're going to have to do is, is adjust the uh, column width because you're not going to be able to read the, the data with just the default column width. So you can kind of play with that a little bit and get the column widths just the way you want them. But essentially, the point is the data has now been transferred to a spreadsheet, so you can... Uh, you know, take whatever data you want out of this and uh, massage it in any way that's, that you'd like, or load it into another uh, uh, another type of program that'll uh, that'll accept CSV or uh, XML files. Of course, if all you're looking to do is massage the data in different ways, you're probably not interested in a lot of stuff. But for example, let's say we're only interested in calibers. I'm going to turn off everything else besides calibers. Okay? And I'll export that. Of course, as expected, the CFV file has only the calibers data. It starts with reloaded workshop data file export as always. And then it starts with calibers instead of manufacturers, because I turned the manufacturers off. So it has the usual uh, data file name, the column headers, and then the data. And that's it. Nothing else. It's just the calibers uh, uh, data table. And here's our data in Excel. Uh, here's our reloaded workshop data file export. And of course, it only has calibers. Calibers, here's our column headers. And all our data nicely separated in the columns for us. Okay. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If so, please click the like button. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy reloading.